We now begin episode two of Unhinged, or segment three of Unhinged, episode 18, rather. I'm going to start off with a little bit of chaos. Five laps of Bonebreaker Valley, still on intense damage. That may change in between segments, to be honest. It can get kind of painful when the car takes one hit and suddenly a wheel's missing and then, you know, pain and padding out the runtime of the episode way longer than it needs to be. I don't have all day. So, yeah. Here driving my dad's little Firebird Camaro thing. There's gonna be some DNFs. I'm seeing double. What the hell? Oh, Taylor just got sent. Max Stanford is currently leading. My brakes are terrible. My brakes are still terrible. I'm struggling to overtake a van. How is this happening? There we go. Of course, no leads ever safe here. Shoot the middle! Oh. Nope, Samuel's lost down there on the left. Okay, out. Oh, Colin's absolutely demolished there. Oh, I can't break, can't break to the side. Big ass hearse in the way. Oh, nose itch. Suddenly, I have a several second lead on the final lap. Okay, which way are we going, guys? Come on. You're on the right side of the track. Stay on the right. Just crying out loud. It's not hard. And one more jump. Get Thrasher ping ponged at me, and there's the victory. <laughs> 99 health. Never got hit at a cross point. The only damage I took was because of the fact that I was being pushed aside by Isabella and Tyler not knowing which way they wanted to go. Five cars on the lead lap. My dad wins by 27 seconds. That is insanity. And then it's Dimitri, Shoji, Max Stanford with P4, and Barbara running out the top five. Uh, how many doofs were there? Only four. We're skipping right to the derby event for today's episode. And we're at the enclosed arena at Big Valley Speedway. We're playing as Max Stanford, who's actually had a surprisingly decent run in the races lately, but his main focus will always lie within derbies. I mean, you have a big van at your disposal, you're supposed to not use its weight to your advantage? Like, come on. This thing certainly isn't a race car. Q 
Can't roin. I'm back. <laughs> I have missed everything. Ow. Man, this is just a clusterfuck over here. Okay. Okay. Son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, there's a clone in the event. Smash! I'm sure to see a lot of that and a lot of me resetting immediately after because this is going to roll a lot. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. I have lost a wheel. Now I can barely even try and finish myself off. That did no damage. Alrighty then. Okay, I'm just gonna die. There we go. Watching me meander around the arena at 27 miles an hour with three wheels is not gonna make for the most interesting content. So I'm just gonna die and loop back around and finally actually hit Gemini for some amount of damage. Oh, I can break those. Alright, uh, future reference. Okay, oh, stop rolling! That didn't wreck, okay. Kill my clone. Smoosh! Die. Okay, now we're starting to pick up some steam. The first, like, two minutes I was just flailing around. Was that a jet? Oh! Yeah, the first minute, or a couple minutes, I was just flailing around doing not much of anything. Now I've gotten eight Rex as opposed to, like, two. And Colin just took an absolute boatload of damage. That does not kill. What? He just hit the self-destruct button. What the hell was that? Into the wall. Okay, well I put you into the wall, but you didn't take any extra damage from it. And you ran away and right into Tyra's face. You! <laughs> oh my, Colin. This is has taken immense damage, I've just destroyed Ferb. Alright. Oh, goodbye. Alright. That did nothing. That did nothing, okay. Oh, god damn it. Why? Game, please. 
damage the vehicles I'm hitting for the love of god. There's still some of you just stuck out there. Oh, that was a mistake. I feel like I'm in one of those old bomber planes. I gotta like, make like a 15 second loop before I can make another run. Slowly turns around, and now I go forwards and smack that SUV in the back and do nothing. Oh god! <laughs> Hi, me! Victory with 13. Uh, Barbara, a clear second at 5. And then Steven Rhodes, Martin Alvarez, and Tyler managed four. One of which shouldn't have been Tyler's, but uh, Ivan just ran away from me and to no avail to him. For our second race event, we arrive at Espedalin Raceway for a quick four lap race. And you're here with Colin Morris and his little escort. Um, he's been sort of a mid-contender. He's had a couple of good races, but also a couple of really bad races. So, he needs to get his consistency back that he had in the first couple of segments, and he should be right as rain. At least, that's the theory, anyway. <coughs> oh. I'm gonna try and slot myself on the left side here, because being on the outside of this corner usually just results in, well, ending up where Dedrick just was. Sand. It did the last time I played a race here, when I was driving as myself. No, Ivan just got a double kill, and Samuel just got hopelessly lost. I think Colin just got revenge for Boulder Bank a few episodes ago. Also, Jim and I just spun in my way. Yeah, uh, in the previous time I played as Colin, Suwako's AI slammed me into a tree. And I believe Colin has just gotten payback for that. A bit of a, a bump and run on Vert, as it were. Nothing malicious, but... Movers like movers like that that get Colin a quite a decent number of enemies on the track. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Dedrick is just dead. The Rick is gone. Yeah, good one. Oh! <laughs> The suspension is not even damaged, it's just the car being this awkward for no obvious reason. Like, there's no suspension damage, there's no wheel damage. There's really not much damage at all, and yet the car is just trying to swap ends constantly. I guess this is probably how Colin likes his cars to be set up. He wants to do those, uh, Scandi flicks and whatever other kind of rally racing techniques you might know. But I, as the player, don't particularly enjoy that in any game. Yeah, that's how that was supposed to work for. Kugasa had little health missing, but is missing a rear wheel, meaning she can't really go anywhere. It's quite an awkward position for her vehicle to be stuck, too, because it means you have to kind of limbo through the... limbo on the apex or smack into her debris. Ideally, somebody will have come back around and cleared that. Aha! My clone is stricken! I shall, uh... Jim and I will continue to suffer 
as Colin just passes him by. Ah. Nope, nobody hit it. I guess, I mean, if I didn't have any problem hitting that apex and avoiding it, I suppose the AI didn't either. Because the blue little guy just upshift and gave me some traction out of that corner. This car just hates that turn, I guess. Hefty damage on Bradley's car over there. And it's going to be a commanding win for Colin Morris, having taken personal revenge on Suwako and claiming the checkered flag, despite all of the oversteer moments along the way. <laughs> well, Escort, I won. It's despite your snap oversteer. Vert took second away from Martin Alvarez following his off-track excursion. My lap time was four seconds faster than anybody else's. <laughs> Ryan Stevens with an impressive fourth place. Fifth for Madison. Myself in sixth. Dimitri, seventh. Eighth for Ferb. Not Thurb, Ferb. Samuel in ninth. My clone takes tenth. Scott Weber, eleventh. Twelfth for Phineas. Thirteenth for Ivan. Emmy rounds out the f vehicles that finished the lap down. Not. Not uh, not the greatest turn of events for Bradley, who ends up a lap down. When lap t when uh, the best lap that he set before that point tells me that he had definite pace for being at least top three. Anyway, <coughs> so here's the replay of the crash between Colin and Suwako. Doesn't get much better than that. Just a dead stop, and that took Suwako clean out of the race. I would say justice has been done. Fuck. That's not cool. Did somebody pit over you or something? <sighs> so I go around it and the game's like, no, you're going the wrong way. And then mm -hmm. when I reset, it puts me on the exact same path and all of a sudden it's fine. Mm. And then a few people hit me and apparently that just left me kind of going at like five miles an hour because there was metal scraping on metal somewhere uh so yeah that is actually not fair I wasn't sure if you didn't have that trophy for hitting 130 miles an hour in the rocket, you could definitely get it here pretty easily. My top speed's 114. Oh, uh, if you extended the gear ratios. Also, I just wrecked a R33. Oh! I knew what I was doing. The problem was that I didn't. Oh, 
Well, I saw the R33 next to you when I made that turn, so that tells me that you didn't wreck him very much. That wasn't... I didn't mean to wreck him very much. Huh? I didn't mean to wreck him very much. Oh. <laughs> Well, there's just like, you know, little nudges that won't tick a character off. It's, you have to make a pretty significant impact to get him angry at you. <sighs> Speaking of significant impacts, by the sounds of it, you've just been in one? Yeah, Supra. Damn it, Gemini. And he just went into the building. <laughs> Like, I launched him into the building. Oh. Oh, this is the left hand. What am I doing? Not my finest piece of cornering, that's for sure. I am down to 33%. Your health is low. the brakes and that would have killed her. But I don't want to kill Taylor. No, but you killed Gemini. <laughs> because he fucked with me. Oh, fuck sticks. I'm dead. The board does not break. Well, we've arrived for the third race of the episode, not counting the guest appearance that just happened. Rattlesnake Race Park will be the venue. It'll be a relatively short race, only four laps. Shouldn't run us much more than like maybe three and a half minutes, I would guess. And we're here with Bradley Hunter, who, well, he, he, much like a couple of others, were in the running for the championship in the previous segment, but just could not get it done. There's the furnace. Um, you know, obviously the goal is to win. So <laughs> Bradley's done it before. He's more than convinced he can do it again. Oh. Oh, 
Not a lot of real estate. Oh my lord, Shoji is going for a ride. You got it there, Colin? Okay, me. <sighs> Goodbye, me. I don't know what I was doing there. I think I just startled Emmy there. Hi, Ferb. Oh, the bright box! Oh my god! Gag the dead, the dead, motion sickness. What just happened? Um, um. Oh, that would definitely be payback on call in there. Mm. Learn how to merge back onto the racetrack, people. Yeah, I believe that would be uh, episode 10. If it's not 10, then I'll flash the correct number of episode when Colin wrecked Bradley last. It was a few episodes ago, but Bradley's got a good memory. He's got a long list of names, I'm sure. He's been... He's been battered around a couple of times in Unhinged. Bounce! Yeah, we're hitting all these jumps and all these bumps in a vehicle that was, you know, basically designed for drag racing. Um, it's sketchy at best. I'll just say that. Bounce. Bounce. Let me throw it with an interesting rejoin to the track. Those three are gonna get tangled up. And, um... I'm free to pursue Ryan Stevens. He had a decent race with a Svetl, and he's clearly got some momentum going if he's here right now. In a vehicle with cornering like that. But this isn't Bradley's first time at this track, so he knows the lines. Apparently, Stevens did not. Just there. However, he does not know his own suspension, which seems to want to kill him. Really badly want to kill him. That's just not something that even real cars do when they hit a jump. Actually, who am I kidding? It probably is, but not vehicles in this game. Anywhere. Here's me thinking the race wouldn't be more than three and a half MINUTES! God damn it. Well, despite having to nurse it over every single bump and jump and nook and cranny and banking, Bradley Hunter wins, and also took a pretty big chunk out of Colin's vehicle on the way around. Ryan Stevens was second, third for Vert, fourth for Merck, fifth for Phineas, Nittori sixth, seventh for Suwako, Ferb eighth, Emmy ninth, Madison tenth, Shoji eleventh, and I can only assume it's supposed to be a Yin Yang style car. Two more Suwakos, and then it's me in 14th, Samuel in 15th, and my clone in 16th. This race was too short to really have all that many DNFs. Or even lapped cars. We had one car lap down and two DNFs, including Colin, which I'm sure that definitely pleases Bradley, as no doubt, you know, revenge successful. For the main event race today, we're at Deathloop. There's no, 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 no fanfare, just Red Death Loop. You'd think there'd be fanfare for a track like this, but nope. That here. <coughs> what we do do here is cough burn. Like. You're here with 
Riley Blanchard, it'll be a bit of a shorter race, six laps, so this race will be like three minutes, four minutes long. Yeah, like four, actually, not three. I don't know what kind of math I'm doing. They're 40 second laps. All right, well, that's a great start. Oh, you did not get the hang time you needed to get. If I don't get hit by anybody on the other end of the loop, that's likely to happen. Did not. So at the end of the previous main event race, I uh, had stopped Barbara to discuss what got into her, and uh, well, she doesn't exactly cover anything up, so effectively what it amounted to was is that she'd kind of seen the way that I had been treated by an iterate lately, and decided to fix the injustice. I don't know why she didn't believe that I couldn't do it myself. I've done it three times now. But basically she just thought that what happened between us was bullshit. And... She suspects that, you know, something has gotten into her. Anyone's guessed whether it's the insanity waves having a late effect from the fall of Gensukyo. That car is destroyed down there. I couldn't even tell what that vehicle was. Or maybe she's just dried up. Oh no. Mm, we're good. <clears throat> Exit off that jump. That didn't look like a car anymore. Anyway. Regardless, Barbara believes that her uh, water-based healing abilities as, you know, half nun, half nurse, more or less, could probably help Nittery, but we have to... We have to get her in a state of sort of, you know, like, not incapacitation, but... Somewhere that she can't just escape. And... Barbara will attempt to figure out what is wrong with her and hopefully fix it before people get drastically hurt. I mean, she already got damn close to doing it to me at, um, Sandstone. I've noted the debris there. I'm gonna stay to the far right. It moved! This did not work. And now I'm missing a wheel? Oh, uh, one. No, I am missing a wheel. I'm out. We, uh, we might be looking at, um, maybe not doing intense damage, because that was just plain stupid. <laughs>